Hi, everybody. Welcome uh, back to Two Old Guys Reviewing the Vintage Film Channel. If you couldn't tell, by the way, we're the old guys, okay? The Vintage Film Channel, that, that's over here, right? <laughs> and today we're reviewing The Great Gildersleeve, a classic sitcom. Art, what... Uh, what years did this run on television? So it was kind of interesting. It uh, ran one season on television, 39 episodes from 55 That's to all. 50, 55 to 56. And it struck me that I, I actually remember having seen it on television. I don't remember the radio show that preceded it by about 10 years. Yeah. But what struck me was that this, unlike The Honeymooners, which was also, I think, just one maybe two seasons of about 39 episodes yeah. because of Jackie Gleason and the cast, Art Carney and the cast of characters and maybe right. things he did afterwards with the same concepts, that had legs. And it's, it's something that we remember yeah. today. Most people, I think even in our age group, might remember the radio show, but barely remember the TV series that followed it. But what I found, well. it, what I found out interesting about it was that uh, Throckmorton Gildersleeve, who was the principal of the show, was actually one of the first spin-offs of another show, Fibber McGee and Molly. No kidding. Yeah. So I didn't know that. Yeah, and they changed. A, a spin-off of a radio show. The spin-off of yeah. a radio show. That character was it was a was a character, and I think uh, that at the time he was maybe uh, an attorney or something, and he was. Uh, handling the estate of his uh, sister uh, yeah. or brother who had passed away, and then he was a, he was in charge of their two young children, Marjorie and Leroy, a, a teenage girl and a young uh, boy, just preteen. And so right. he was a father figure to them. And then I think by the time I got to television, even the, the first or second or third episode, they turned him into like an administrator, like a water administrator of a yeah. town. And, just, and, and and it's all irrelevant, of course, because the, right. the whole point was that he was, a, he, was in, he sat behind a desk and he reported to the mayor and, and that, he, that and, created problems. And he was and although he was a super nice guy, he was a bumbler. Yeah, and, fumbler and, and a bumbler and a, and and take a look at the picture over here of the great. You you get a sense of what the show was about once you hit the the uh, video and play, so we can see some of the uh, characters and stuff. He was a, it was a nice guy, but really a fumbler and a bumbler. And he always had those bug eyes. And that's probably a good example of it right there. Uh, Willard Waterman was famous for a, um, a, a mannerism, a take that he would do. He would do not only the bug eyes, but he would go, well, you know, something like, of course, I can't do it, but something like that. And that was what I remembered of the great Gildersleeve. Whoa. Um, I didn't remember the sitcom idea that he's Uncle Gildersleeve, or, uh, Uncle Throckmorton, hmm. or, uh, or get this, there's a, the housemaid. Birdie. Uh, wh whose name I can't remember. Birdie. <laughs> Birdie. The, look, only in 1950 could you do a TV show with a housemaid, a black housemaid, right? right? And it doesn't matter if they treated her nicely and she's one of the family and whatever. And obviously they depend upon her um, to, to help run their lives. But in 1950, she could be black. Right. Ten years later, um, any any uh, a housemaid or anybody like that had to be white, a white character. Yeah, hey, you think of Hazel, think of uh, the Brady Bunch, uh, uh, the, the maid. Yep, yep. Anyway, this is a great, uh, I loved it. It's a very simple uh, format, very simple storyline. And it all revolves around uh, Willard Waterman as the great Gildersleeve. Um, and of course, he's the great Gildersleeve because he's not very great, you know, bumbles around through through life. But it's a fun show. And uh, boy, what a, uh, what a look into the past of what? 19, would you say 56? 55, 56. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And by the way, one little aside, um, you said they did 39 episodes here. Uh, go to while we were here. Go to 611 on the on the video. 611 is a is a scene where the mayor comes in and catches him, and he does the that bug eyed response. Um, 
and I think it's a good uh, a good look at uh, what Willard Waterman did as uh, the great Gildersleeve. So, the mayor. Yeah, here is the mayor entering and finds Willard at his desk late at night with a girlfriend, and Willard is caught in the act. There's the look. That's the famous Gildersleeve look. But um, what I was going to say is that in 1950, uh, whatever it was, you could do 39 episodes and only have one year's worth of television. Right. Fast forward 30 years, and it to get a year's worth of television, they only did 13 shows. And, and they released them all now in, 19, in uh, 2023. They released them all in one day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it's a great look back at uh, the way television used to be. Great look back at, I think, a, a classic character, uh, the great Gildersleeve, even though we don't know who that is today. It was fun. So anyway, go go to Vincent Trill Channel and get the same kind of uh, kick that we get out of seeing some of these oldie, but maybe not so goodies, but yeah. oldie, but it brings back memories of a time that when we were young, and I certainly remember having seen it once or twice. Never made a big impression on me then, uh, but I always liked reading some of the historical footnotes on it and uh, what these uh, folk, who these folks were and where they came from. So go to Vintage Film Channel, uh, uh, encourage uh, Gracie by subscribing, encourage us by subscribing to our channel as well. Thank you. Celebrating Act Two mm -hmm. dot com. Thank you. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.